Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Madden games for the Sony PSP. The first one, Madden NFL 2006 on the PSP is great. You get a really good football experience in the palm of your hands. Of course that some stuff was cut out, like the hit stick, because the PSP doesn't have a second analog stick, but it has precision passing and all the other features, some of them simplified, which is a job well done on the PSP. Also the game is less realistic, but more fun for a guy like me. The game doesn't have momentum, meaning that if you sprint with your player, he won't have problems stopping and going the other way around, because of momentum. But in the game, if you jam your analog stick in the opposite direction, the player will go in that direction immediately, unlike in real life where momentum would make the move impossible to pull off. Also the game has a franchise mode, multiplayer and a, and a mini camp, where you can try out training mini games. But one huge issue are the loading times, which are too many and too long. Madden NFL 2007 improves last year's game with better loading times, better physics and it has console features like the highlight stick, a new kick meter and lead blocking controls. The highlight stick lets you pull off some superstars jukes. But the game isn't perfect. It has a lot of bugs, like for example when you want to pass it gets the button assigned to your teammates wrong. It doesn't happen every time, but people online complain about this bug happening too often. Also, oftentimes quarterbacks take a nap on the field instead of helping you. Madden NFL 2008 has a new mode, the Superstar Challenge where you replace scenarios from last year's season. In Rust you get the same game modes as before, except for the end-to-end -end mini game, which appeared for the first time in last year's game, in Madden NFL 2007. In Rust you also get the weapon system, but here it almost doesn't change anything. I mean, on bigger consoles like the PS3, you really feel the difference in playstyles, but on the PSP, the weapon system doesn't do much. Players behave like in older games that didn't have the weapon system. Madden NFL 2009 has a new feature, the Rookie Mode, which is a copy of the Family Play option on PS2. What it does is that it simplifies the game for you, and stuff like running is managed by the PSP, it does it for you, you just have to press some buttons that the game tells you. But this mode is only for newcomers because veterans will have the same experience from last year. In Rust, the AI is improved and you get all the game modes from past games. In Madden NFL 10, novelties include the new play designer, which does what the name implies, you create plays. And you can upload them on your PS3 too, if you have the Madden game on your PS3 that is. Also the Superstar Challenge has been improved. Now you can play from both perspective and it's more fun. In Rust the game has new controls that don't change anything, a new camera system that again doesn't change the experience and the graphics have been improved. Madden 11 doesn't bring anything new, but it takes out the online multiplayer option. In Rust you get the same solid game with the same game modes, but the problem in the game is that it freezes oftenly. Madden 12 is the same game as Madden 10, but what is changed are the graphics and the animations, which are way better here. In Rust you get the same game modes, and it's a good game, a very solid football experience on the go. Also worth mentioning, and this is valid for any Madden game for the PSP, is that the game is way easier on PSP than on bigger versions, so don't expect too much realism in the handheld console. It's a solid game, any of them, that can get you a lot of fun. But don't expect the PS3 or Xbox 360 stuff here. It's not a downgraded version of the Madden game you are used to. It's a simplified version, meaning that you get all the features, but in a more simplified manner. The games are still fun though, and you should try them out. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell me the thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.